Welcome to Good Hunter. Table for two? Three! Oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please sit wherever you like and call me over once you're ready to order. So we're gonna eat first and bring up the book situation later? Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Work is that bad, huh? Today's recommendation is the steak. Come take a look. There will definitely be something. <sighs> Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. This seems like the sort of staple bar food you'd find at the tavern. It has an extremely strong flavor, so drinkers love it because they can actually taste it. Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. <sighs> Why don't you order... Good Hunter's signature dish. If it's what you want, I'll try anything once. Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. <sighs> this seems like the sort of stick. You sure? Can't change again once you've made. Hmm. Finished ordering. Sit here. Let's dine together. Hmm. Such a potent aroma. It's almost suffocating. I never thought someone your age would go for a dish like this. I always had you down as a little cutie. Now I'm not so sure. Ugh, Paimon's so full. Time is getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Would you like to order something else? No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. Hmm. <sighs> she means the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. Hmm. <sighs> okay, then. But make sure you don't forget this time. Right. On to our next stop, then, cutie. This is our final call for the day. Welcome. Uh, couples are our specialty. Let me know what you'd like and I'll wrap them up nicely for you. Ah, uh, yes. Now, which book was it that has the line, A date without flowers is a date without romance? Why, it just so happens that I would, my kindest cutie. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? Mist flowers? Over there in the corner. But don't touch them with your bare hands. You'll get frostbite. You want them? You're sure? What an unusual choice. It's just that Lisa seems to use Electro quite a lot. Things could get a little bit dangerous. Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Some flowers for Miss Lee. Dandelions are one of our classics. And a personal favorite of Miss Flora, the shop owner. 
I know what you're thinking. Most flower shops don't sell dandelions. They're a nuisance to care for. Perhaps Miss Flora likes the sense of floating away to a faraway land that the dandelion evokes. Come to think of it, Miss Flora herself gives people the same impression. You sure? Can't change again once you've been... Dandelions? They actually sell dandelions? They have a refreshing scent, similar to the one Jean wears. Thank you. Okay, time to get back to business. Donna, do you know why we're here? Back to business? My business is selling flowers. <sighs> Once again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies ring a bell. Oh! Yes, well, what happened was... Oh, oh no, what am I gonna do? I... I lost the book. <sighs> A while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was getting ready to bring it back to the library. But I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days, but nothing. It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there, on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh-oh. That Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I heard that. Ah! Well, if it really was stolen, Donna's done nothing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief. And their punishment will be three. No, ten times worse than stealing my book. Like Paimon said, totally crazy! Oh, don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for us to follow. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Paimon always thought she was a total slacker. Hey, sweetie. I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Elemental sensitivity?